when you talk of repossession, you say professional repossession, I think it's important to remember that repossessions, although maybe not one of the things everyone likes to think about, or something that's a necessary evil and will happen from time to time. A repossession is the retaking of a vehicle by self-help means uh, when somebody has defaulted in their contract. So if they haven't paid for a car, there's a right under most state laws to be able to go and peacefully take the car back. It's called a repossession. So when you're doing that, the, the, obviously you want someone that will be professional. You want someone that knows the law and the requirements for that. So if I'm a dealer, I want somebody that's going to be um, been around, engaged in business, and knows what they're doing. I'm going to want to have a contract with that particular individual to make sure that we know what the rights and responsibilities are and they're going to comply with the law. I would also like them to have some insurance for their activity if there's a problem. I may even take the step is to make sure that I'm at as an additional name insured on their policy. Uh, I would check out the company, I would look at the activity, I would look at their track record and make sure that they're going to represent my dealership or my company in the way that I'd like to be represented. Because remember, even though you're hiring them as an independent contractor, there are going to be situations where we are going to be responsible for their conduct and they are acting pursuant to the contract we have with our customer. And even though there's been a non-payment under this particular contract, they're still our customer. We're still hopeful that the contract will be got current and the customer relationship will, be, will continue. So I would go through all those things and I would be very, very careful in terms of who I select and I'd make sure I monitor their activity on a go-forward basis.